to Graham Henry. He actually ended up putting on his dancing shoes on Saturday night after the Ferns' epic win. Here he is. <laughs> He used to be a PE teacher, but he's been a superstar in the rugby world since the late 90s when he took over as coach of Wales and then later the British and Irish Lions. Then in 2004, it was back home to lead the mighty All Blacks to victory. They won 88 out of 103 tests under him. They did lose to France the 2007 World Cup quarterfinals, but forget that. He guided us to glory and victory in 2011. And he's with us now to remember some of those great days. Please welcome Sir Graham Henry. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Uh, as I said, you've been mentoring the Black Ferns this year, so tell me, how good was your Saturday night? I thought they were fantastic, you know. I, I just can't speak highly enough of those women and what they've achieved, you know. They're brave, brave as hell, you know. They stayed in the fight, stayed in the fight, and finished up winning two test matches over the last two weeks that could have gone either way, but they just kept it hanging in there as a result of them having hard times in rugby over the years, you know. It always hadn't been, hadn't been easy for them. Had to build their own teams and and put up with adversity and I guess that builds that resilience and that bravery. Mm, it's a beautiful combination. Uh, it obviously leading to a bit of celebrating. Um, Sir Graham, is it usual for you to dance at a party? Because we have some footage of you celebrating after that win. Yeah, I don't think you should show that footage. I don't think it's particularly um, particularly good, but it shows the attitude, doesn't it? And at that stage, I wasn't wind-assisted, so um, you know, I had a bit of assistance later on, so it might have been better later. <laughs> we all think we are better later after a few. 50 years of coaching, what's the most important lesson you've learned in that time? I think I've learned a lot from, from these women, actually, about being positive, you know, Women are much more self-critical, you know, not critical of others, but critical of themselves and and just being positive and building building their self-esteem and building their self-confidence, blowing up their tyres, you know, that sort of stuff, um, I found was very important in the game we were trying to play. And maybe if I'd done that with the men, we uh, may have been even more successful. Who knows? So you're, learning, you're learning all the time. I think... Uh, that's what it's about. You never, you never have a finished product. You, you need to change with the times. Yeah, and learning all the time. I mean, do we in New Zealand maybe ask too much of our coaches, too quick to get rid of them? I mean, there were calls for your head after 2007, but do you think the lessons you learned there helped you win 2011? Oh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, you learn from those things. And, and the leadership group at the time, we had 13 of us, seven players and six oldies like me, we learned that we weren't strong enough mentally, so we got some some expertise involved and we built that area of our game and that's why we smashed the French 8-7 and 2-11, you know? <laughs> it made a massive difference. <laughs> um, that's why I'm talking to you. Yeah. Out of interest, you put that 2011 final on replay from time to time on a Saturday night with a big glass of red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't want to go through that again, buddy. I haven't watched it since. Never, I've only watched it live and never watched the game since. Wow. I tell you what, it's on the television at home in, in Waiiki, uh, sitting there to be watched. When I'm 105 and maybe I can't get out and catch a fish or do the garden, I might watch it. All you need to do is look at the score, Graham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so what are your plans now? Oh, relaxation, basically. I'm... Why Hickey's our home now, and there's a group of m late middle-aged people there who we, we all get on very well and <laughs> get into our own little bit of trouble every now and again. Which, <laughs> I mean, you get into trouble occasionally. <laughs> uh, just keep you on your toes, help each other, good stuff. So, no, life's a ball. We're very lucky. Well, Sir Graham Henry, thank you for 50 years of service, and thanks so much for joining us tonight. Oh, it's a pleasure. Good to talk. Yeah, what do you reckon, Mark? A sporting legend much like yourself. In fact, arguably <laughs> achieved even more than you did. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I have a theory about good coaches and, and, and good teams. And, and the good coaches are the ones that you want to play for. Right. So, and, and that doesn't mean that they're, you know, they're huggy coaches. They can be hard taskmasters. But you want to be in their team. Mm. Maybe not the team, 
You want to play for their team. You want to play under them. Yeah. You want to do well for them. There's been a few of them. I, I think Steve Hansen had it in buckets as well. Huh. Yeah, I think of Alex Ferguson in football as well. You just want to be in their side. I kind of felt like that just talking to him. I was like, oh, do you like the question that I'm asking you? Yeah. Do, you want, do you want me to retire on why you can't be a cool middle-aged neighbour? Because I will. I'm approaching late middle age, so I'm coming. <laughs>